Hi guys and welcome to Crossroad.com. This is a familiar vehicle in front of you, or not, because this is the A-Class limousine, but this is also the A35, the 35 AMG version of the same car which we reviewed a uh, couple of months ago. And uh, so we are going to keep it brief and uh, tell you the changes over the regular A-Class limousine and how is it like to ride. And uh, let's begin with how it looks, because what we see here is a new grille and a new bumper in typical AMG fashion. It's got uh, the twin slat grille, uh, twin slat treatment on the side of the bumper. There is mesh and there is a seal here chrome to make it uh, satin finish not chrome entirely to make it look nice and sporty uh, this grey colour of course suits the car really well uh, also because it gets traditional Mercedes AMG wheels which are in star shape and uh, the headlamps as always look very sleek uh, very large uh, logo on the front bumper and uh, coming to the side you can see this is the turbo-formatic patching that it gets over the regular version and as I go back and show you the side profile you can see this car definitely sits lower than the A class A200 and uh, coming at the back same set of tail lamps but there is this diffuser treatment that this car gets twin exhausts uh, large ones A35 badging on this side and uh, since we are at the back let's do some practical uh, reviews as well as you can see that's how the boot looks like uh, with the space saver tire and uh, below this uh, which is very heavy you have the battery and the controls and that is of course the lift spoiler that you get with the A35 over the A200 version. Uh, at the back the story remains the same but you can see the seats at the back also get uh, Nappa finish along with leather, contrast stitching with the red color, the seat belts are also red and you get the same amount of space like room, room and headroom uh, that is on offer but to show you uh, this is how it is and the headroom is also quite generous given the fact that the sunroof is big but not very big which I'll get to in a bit. Uh, that's the AC controls and fast charging point along with some storage you can also see there is finish here along with contrast stitching and a toe pad with speakers and uh, storage as well keyless entry and go push button start of course memory seats on both sides which is great and uh, let's get inside the car start it up That's the screen that we saw in the 8200, it continues to be the same here and uh, you can hear this sound that sounds like almost like a generator is kicking up. The same very nice looking vents, uh, turbo inspired, the buttons are slightly different and so are the rotary dials here, uh, I mean this is the rocker switch sorry and uh, the same pad is here, uh, this finish has changed on the center console and as you can see it's got the same. Uh, wireless charger, fast charging point, 12 volt socket and adjustable cup holders are on offer. Uh, mouse pa this is the mouse pad of course, this is just to rest your, uh, your wrist on and uh, lock undock is done from here. Like I told you memory seats and power seats is on both sides uh, which is always a great addition to have. Uh, same set of uh, switch gears and uh, you've got cruise control and uh, the volume control and this uh, pointer here changes everything on this side. So as you can see you can scroll via here and for this side uh, if I press home it shows me what I need to see so I can go into trip it takes a little bit of you getting used to this scrolling system but what you get used to very quickly is of course the column mounted gear shift which uh, spoils you after you get in the next car because this is so very very convenient uh, that's the wipers that's how they work and it also doubles as the indicator stock you've got paddle shifters um, and like I said uh, a very different set of switch gear for the AMG version everything is chrome lined and you can see there are the lights uh, this is the illumination for the cabin lights as the rear park uh, sorry the, the handbrake electric parking brake and that's the boot release for the button it's also uh, you know chrome lined and what is also seen here chrome lined is the Burmeister sound system that is on offer and here as well uh, the sound system of course this is the A35 is a premium car so it deserves the premium attention and it gets a very very good nice uh, sound system I mean for a car of this size getting uh, Burmeister sound system is very interesting but we also know this is an AMG so Mercedes has to make sure that everything is top notch and it is you get the reversing camera um, so that makes life convenient and uh, there's the front parking sensors of course and some space here along with some charging points as well like any Mercedes there are enough charging points for everybody in the family and uh, that's the Mercedes me SOS system and that's how you open up the sunroof which is big but no, it doesn't stretch all the way back and uh, yeah that's what the car is all about we've explained you in detail what the mbux system is all about we've said that it is getting close to the benchmark bmw i drive very uh, slowly and extremely steadily 
um it, it could have had a slightly ref, you know faster refresh rate or uh, you know sc- scrolling rate or it's called in hertz i think this is around 40 it could have done with 60 which are even phones have today but uh, like i said everything is very easy to use there's a lot of features on offer the over the 8 to 100 as well so the, you've got the amg performance where you can see everything with this car you can put a lap timer on it you can see the consumption and everything is downloadable on the app too like i said with the mercedes me and you can see everything on your phone for your car um navigation and uh, yeah you've got theme select and uh, you can select your favorite by pressing the star button here so this screen will pop up you've got themes to choose from and uh, yeah it's pretty impressive you've got uh, messages that come from the car not from your mobile phone uh, that can be seen here and uh, a quick look at the glove box which is illuminated not chilled and uh, i think that's it that's what the 35 is on the inside and outside let's quickly jump to the driving part So what is the Mercedes AMG 35 4MATIC like to drive? Well, for starters, uh, let's get done with the practicality part because uh, ground clearance is a bit of an issue uh, sometimes, not all the time because uh, it goes over small to medium speed breakers uh, with no problem with a bit of, uh, you know, taking the speed breaker diagonally and you will be done. It's the really tall speed breakers that will touch the underbelly and since the underbelly has a completely flat uh, blow bed, so that should not be a problem. Uh, ride quality uh, in comfort mode is still jittery and uh, quite uh, almost harsh in sport of course it becomes quite harsh and uh, what it means that uh, riding over even our the best of our services will make you realize that there are some crests some undulations <laughs> and you will realize that our uh, nose you know no road is entirely smooth um, see this is a very smooth road but i just realized that there are some bumps in it and uh, Apart from that, what I can tell you is that uh, the overall practicality will be slightly on the lower side because of those uh, aforementioned uh, situations that we've come across and just explained to you. But what is really impressive is the way this car brings the inner child out of you because, uh, you know, I am getting older and uh, I don't like to, you know, like really, really push to the limits and drive fast all the time. But this car has made me do that uh, after a really long time I've gotten into something which is uh, truly playful because uh, the power is manageable for our roads at 300 bhp and 400 newton meters of top being made from a very small two liter four cylinder motor so that also gives it turbo lag and the gear shifts also can take some time in the lower end to upshift quickly um, downshift is not a problem uh, and in fact just like any other mercedes the uh, steering in this car is fantastic uh, light and precise uh, most of the time heavy when you put it in sport mode when you are gunning it on the highway it, ge- it becomes heavy and gives you a lot of confidence while driving uh, even while you know switching lanes and ta- attacking corners one after the other rather uh, you know frequently uh, this car doesn't lose composure there's a lot of grip on offer of course this is a very small car but at the same time it's got four wheel drive as well so that security from four wheel drive in our conditions and uh, you know and for newbies who are getting into this car for the first time don't need to worry about you know the car under steering or over steering because four wheel drive is uh, the next best luxury if you ask me because it just makes life easier safer and surprisingly fun at the same time so all these things don't happen at the same time it happens only rarely and it's happened uh, with the formatic cars in mercedes a35 here in particular is just bonkers off the line acceleration also is very impressive because of four wheel drive because it just takes four and a half seconds to 100 and with just 300 bhp on offer i think uh, that is something uh, truly uh, you know worth value your money because this car has been priced also quite well i'll just uh, come to the price also rather quickly because uh, at uh, 60 lakh rupees x showroom i think that's fantastic value for money given the fact that you still get four seats and uh, it's a car that is almost practical so the boot is also like i showed you not that bad and uh, that this entire package makes the a35 a very very compelling case so when it was launched i was since then i've been eagerly waiting to drive this car and all that eagerness uh, you know has uh, made me realize after driving it that it still remains because this car is a fantastic package um performance is good practicality is okay the design is great inside out it's got a true blue mercedes experience uh b12 
be it uh, sales and service, be it the quality of the interior, be it the uh, you know the features, the sound quality, the infotainment system, everything is spot on. You know, there's hardly anything that I can uh, you know clearly say that that's not impressive. Uh, because uh, of course you would say that you know why aren't you saying that ride quality is a bit of uh, cumbersome? But then you buy a performance car with the mindset that your practicality is not a top forte. What I want is performance, and uh, in fact, it's been giving us. Uh, uh, you know, given the fact that let's we're talking about practicality, let's also discuss the fact that uh, we are also getting a good fuel efficiency number out of this car while you know while you are driving it normally. Um, absolutely, gunning it, of course, will take it down to five kilometers to the liter, but most of the time it will deliver eight to nine kilometers to the liter. Um, even if you are even more calm and gentle with the throttle on some particular days you can still see it touch 8 to uh, you know 10 kilometers to the liter so i think that's really impressive you've got a 51 liter tank you can still do 350 400 kilometers so that's really impressive uh, so not many frequent station uh, you know fuel station uh, stops and uh, again you know it's it's a nice package in this uh, entry level luxury performance car category and uh, we are really impressed in fact this is the reason why uh, it's a very strong contender for our awards which are on our website right now and uh, after test riding it we can definitely uh, the jury can also think a, a word or two about it and uh, we'll be announcing those awards also very shortly so stay tuned and coming back to the a35 like i said i'm pretty much all praises about this car it's just every time you do that it just mesmerizes you with the kind of grip the stability the sound of course it's not a typical amg sound but that's i think uh, it's still one of the best four sound, you know, best sounding four cylinder engines in the market right now. And uh, there's no denying the A35 should be on your list if you're looking for a fun car under the 70, 75 lakh rupee budget. This has to be on your list. Um, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching our video. Make sure you like it, share it, uh, subscribe to our channel, please, and uh, bring you more such content. Until then, goodbye.